looking wow. thing. Wow. I love these. Oh, you need a lot more of that for sure. Cool. Now, we have been in Central America for quite some time now, and we've never actually been that adventurous and tried the different exotic fruits that you can find here. So in today's video, we wanted to try a bunch of fruit and to see what we liked, what we don't like. Yeah, no, we've been in Central America for about four months. Want to see what these are all about? They seem very popular. Some of them yeah, seen a definitely. lot of them being eaten quite often. Some of them I'm familiar with. Some of them I've never even heard of before. Yeah. So. It's gonna be a unique experience for sure to try some of these out. When we first land into a new country, we really like to try some of the local dishes that are real popular within that country, but we've yet to really explore the fruit side of things. So yeah. we went down to a couple of frutas, which are like these massive fruit stands. It's kind of like a farmer's market mm -hmm. specifically for fruit and vegetables. We got a number of different fruits we've never tried before here. Yeah. So, let's, so we're excited. So yeah. let's get in it. Let's get into it. <laughs> the first fruit we have on our list is the dragon fruit, which I think I've had dragon fruit in certain drinks. And, and stuff you can find it in North America. So this one is not as crazy, should we say, but it is, looks beautiful. We've had to try it. Yeah. So, yeah where absolutely. does it originate from? Yeah. And that's a really good point, actually. So a lot of these fruits that we're covering are real popular to Central America and Costa Rica, but some of them actually originate as far as Southeast Asia. As far as the dragon fruit or patea, they are actually a cactus species indigenous to the Americas. Didn't realize it was part of the cactus family though. It's kind of cool. It feels cool, hey? Yeah, it's the, very like felty. Yeah, texture the too. texture is like soft, like cushiony. Cushiony? Cushiony. 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 <laughs> that was a justice right there. <laughs> <gasps> Look wow. at that. Now I've seen the ones that are white. This one it's like is like a red. strong reddish pink looking wow. thing. Wow. How do we eat it? I think we just dig in. Dig in. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's like a kiwi. That's exactly what I was going to say. It tastes just like a kiwi. I would eat a lot more of that for sure. And you said it's really healthy, this one? Yeah, it's full of antioxidants, chock full of vitamin C. So mm -hmm. sounds like it's pretty similar in terms of health benefits as a kiwi as well. Mm. All right, next on our list, we have a rambutan, which is part of the lychee family. Yeah, they were saying like the lychees and these rambutans are equally as popular in this area, but they're both very seasonal. So right now we're just at, in Costa Rica at the time that the rambutan is... Rambutan? Yeah, rambutan <laughs> is being grown. And so... Yeah, we see these a lot around town. Yeah, that everybody everywhere. is eating them. At the bus stations, when we were like busing across Costa Rica, there's guys literally reaching up into the bus windows to like sell some bags of these. Yeah. So they're very popular, funny feel. They are like not sharp, spiky, but like they've got these little. You got these little hairs. These little... Dick hairs. Yeah, they're kind of weird. <laughs> and they're really interesting to bite into, I mean, to break open. Oh, so yeah. these ones, you actually just... You peel it kind of like it's an orange. Yeah. But so, they're thick. So you're going to get that white skin? At first, when you look at it, it kind of looks like a it's peeled like a, grape. A white grape, yeah. That's what it looks like to me, is like when you peel a grape back. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, these are delicious. The mm. flavor... Mm. It reminds me of a grape. It tastes like a grape. Way more flavorful than a grape, though. I love these. I could eat these all day. Yeah, you can see why they're popular. They're very juicy. So, so far we've had kiwi flavored dragon fruit and grape flavored light cheese. So, this is known as a nona, which is in the family of the sour sop. Yeah. Kind of ugly it looking. smells sweet. It smells. It doesn't look. It appealing. looks. Yeah, it's like all mushy. It's gross. <laughs> it smells okay. So just grab yourself a chunk. And we'll just bite into it. So I cannot. <laughs> Take that. You see how she was. 
trying to come up with a reason not to try it. <laughs> it doesn't smell terrible. It just looks really unappealing. It does. I've got a couple pieces of the flesh here though. So cheers. Cheers. We'll try it. Let's go. It looks way worse than it tastes. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get over the way it looks. The texture is really mushy. It almost tastes like... It tastes like... For some reason it sounds like something like bread pudding or something. I don't know, no. It, it tastes like another fruit to me for some reason. I mean, it is a fruit. It's bland but sweet. Yeah. And mushy. Kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies to yeah, be the, honest. Yeah, the texture is just... I don't know. <laughs> Does that look very appealing? I don't know. We gave it a go. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's maybe just, it's the one we got too. Like maybe we. Like have, maybe this one's better. Maybe it could have been more ripe or less ripe, and that would have changed the taste of it. I'm next glad we one. tried it. We gave it a shot. It's not for us. Okay, hey, what's next on the, the list? The next one is Uchuva or the golden berry. They grow this natural leaf protector, and then it's like a, when you open it up, it's like a little cherry tomato. So we just pop it in our mouth? Yeah, we just pop it in. Cool. But mine was real sour. Wasn't expecting that. Mine was a little bit too. But it almost tasted like a plum to me. Yeah. Sour, not as, I can't pinpoint it. It's like a sour. It's like a sour plum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but they're good and like we said they help fight against diabetes they're probably full of antioxidants like everything else we've had today and they're really versatile i think i think you could do a lot of with those with cooking it's also got moderate levels of vitamin c thymine and niacin so don't know what that is but it sounds like you need it it sounds like you need it it also <laughs> has vitamin k and beta carotene so you know it's good <laughs> okay, um, what's our next one? <laughs> the next one, papaya. Lots of people have heard about papayas. We get yeah. them in Canada. It's a beautiful peachy color. And as Jess had pointed out, we know we're supposed to cut the long way. I think so. We're just trying to, we're not going to be eating a full papaya right now or even half of one. So figure it less likely spoil if you just cut off yeah. the edge. Smells delicious. Hmm different it's a little blandy it is yeah it's a little bland it kind of i kind of got the same taste as like a nectarine at first but then it there was not much of an aftertaste it was just kind of there but Did we see the health benefits of a papaya no so papayas contain high levels of antioxidants vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e diets high in antioxidants may reduce the risk of heart disease so you know it is also a heart disease preventer, chock full of vitamins and minerals. I guess they say a papaya a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> the next one is the hocotes, which are these little guys. And they said you wanted the yellowy red ones. Yeah, oh. they, they come in yellow, green, and red. And supposedly you want the ones that are Leaning more towards red, a little bit of yellow is okay. But if it's green, it's not quite ready yet. So if you're shopping for these, wanna try them out yourself, make sure you get the ones that are red and or yellow, mostly red. The hocotis is also known as spondias purpurea. Spondias purpurea, I think. So yeah, it says to squeeze it to see if it's ripe enough. Softer is sweeter. I think his is ripe. I, yeah, I think mine's ripe. <laughs> I squeezed the heck out of it, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to give it a little nibble, give it a taste. Do you want to try this one? Because this one's a soft one, so I think it's going to be sweet. I feel that good. Mmm. It's actually, like, pretty tasty. It's chalky. It does have a chalky texture to it's it. It's super chalky. But it's tasty. Is there a nut inside? Like, the, like There's a, seed? like, massive seed in the middle. So you want to be careful for that because from what we had read all of these fruits you don't want to be eating like the seeds and stuff it's super chalky i'm kind of surprised yeah it's got a bit of a different texture than i expected as well but it's i mean it's pretty good it's sweet but the seed takes up like the majority of it it's like a big 
I'll go first. It gives me, cringes me. <laughs> the texture isn't just his favorite. And this one's a lot firmer, so it's not nearly as sweet. It's super chalky, like, all right. Yeah, that one, that was a bit different. Mas o menos. Mm, the chalkiness, <laughs> which is really intense. Just like, it like, almost had, like, menos, this powdery kind of, like, flavor to it. Mm. Next one is passion fruit. Which is this one. They said you wanted they the said, wrinkly yeah, one. Yeah, they said that you'd want the wrinkly one. It's very ugly looking. It's supposedly better when it's wrinkly. This one's green. We've seen pictures with purple ones and the insides look crazy. It's kind of like uh, the inside of a pomegranate almost. I was like, gonna say, it looks like kind of tadpole-ish. Yeah, just all these seeds. Yeah. <laughs> but supposedly it's a lot sweeter and better tasting when it's all wrinkly and a little bit over. I think you want to go the other way. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. It's... It's a thick skin. Maybe we should have gone the other way. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's like... Wow, it smells like it's so intense smell. It's got a strong smell. It's like grapefruit. Sure. So as you can see inside, it is full of these little seeds. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Cheers. Oh, it's sour. Oh. Very sour. <laughs> The look on buddy's face. Way more sour than I was expecting. It's so sour. Woo, and it's like jelly. Yeah. So there's a je alta jelly like texture, and then there's like the seeds inside. Really sour. I'm gonna try mine again. Ooh, she's living on the edge. <laughs> Very sour. It's okay. I, I like the health benefits of it for sure. I don't think I'll be eating too too many of them. It'd be but... good in a smoothie. Yeah, so I can definitely see it, it being good. Like... Put it in a smoothie. I think that's the way. I would that's probably... like the way I've always had it too. Yeah, like I've had passion fruit smoothies so... and so. Or maybe in a yogurt or something like. You could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could definitely see it in a yogurt bowl. That'd be good. But to eat it, it's very intense. It's intense. All right, we got two more fruits left. Guys, the next one is called a mango sting. This one is so interesting looking. Yeah, it's like this weird, almost looks like something from like Super Mario World or something. The top is just so interesting. It is got these hard green leaves and it's definitely hard. Yeah, it's a stiff fruit for sure. So very cool. It's got a super thick skin from what I was reading. You want to just cut it in half, but not in half. You want to kind of like cut down and around and work your way around to where you can pull it off. And then what you get is you get this what? white fruit on the inside. It's really cool. So this purple outer shell layer then is obviously just the protector from the fruit for the fruit. Yeah, yeah. So you don't eat the red part. You don't eat the red part. Yeah. You just eat the white part on the inside. So basically, kind of is like an orange. You've got like these little slices that come out. Oh. Oh, wow. So like the little slices, somewhat like an orange would be on the middle. Okay, wow. Interesting fact about the mango steam is it's actually forbidden in the US or it was for a time. The ban was lifted in 2007. And the reason for it was it actually, the fruit originates from Thailand and they were fearful that they would have like Asian fruit flies coming over with the fruit. Huh. So they banned this fruit, but it's no longer banned. So you can get it if you're in the US. I'm sure if you looked hard enough, it's got strong antioxidant properties as well as anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, anti-allergic. You ain't getting nothing if you're having me. <laughs> Should we give it a try? Hmm. Another grape tasting one, I feel. It tastes like a grape. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the texture of an orange and the flavor of a grape. Pretty good. Juicy. These are really good. I would get another one of these for show. I think the outer shell, the skin kind of scares you off because it's black and it's got this big top on it. That was delicious though. But that was a good one. I'm very surprised on that one. All right, and we have potentially saved the best for last. I say that because in my family, it was a tradition back when I was a kid to grab some guava juice. We got a nice big guava, so we're going to be trying that out. My dad and his buddies used to call it the nectar of the gods. Yeah. It looks like we just cut it open. 
give her a taste. I think you can cut it kind of like an apple into slices. So maybe that's a way we'll do it. Better. Cut it right down the middle. Oh, it does have an apple texture. Ah, it's kind of like white on the inside, much like an apple. It's got these little tiny seeds all throughout it, which are edible. Like those ones are fine. So you don't need to be all meticulous trying to take them out. What are the health benefits? I'm glad you asked. It's, <laughs> they're extremely high in antioxidants. Again, definitely a uh, theme here today for us. High in antioxidants, it's also, they're extremely high, rich in vitamin C, and the antioxidants boost your immune system and protect your cells from free radical damage causing cancers. Oh, wow. I'll try and say that five times real fast. Cheers. Cheers. Guava, the nectar of the gods. Kind of plain. It is kind of plain. It's an apple texture for sure. Peach, no, sorry, it's a pear and an apple combined. Mm -hmm. One thing that's interesting about it is I have seen some that are like pink on the inside, so I'm not sure if this is a specific type that's just white. The seed is really hard. It's like, it mm -hmm. felt like I knocked my tooth. <laughs> I'm just gonna like swallow them whole. It's very bland. Probably it's, good if yeah, you throw it in the Somewhat like tasteless, smoothie. yeah. I think because it's got such good health benefits, but the taste isn't that strong, you could pretty much accompany it with anything to yeah. get the added health totally. benefits. So like, if you're making a strawberry banana shake, throw a bit of guava in there. Not yeah. gonna taste it much, but you're gonna get a lot out of it. Totally. I would almost say the taste is somewhere between a pear and an apple as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way different than the guava juice I've had before. And like, like I said, the guava juice I've had before is usually like, uh, like the same color as the papaya. So I'm interested to know why it's white. I'm not 100% sure. Overall though, I think we picked some really good fruit. I think the fruits were actually pretty tasty. Yeah, it's definitely, I'd say my favorite was the dragon fruit. I like the Robotan. Yeah, I love these. <clears throat> Those these are good. so good. Oh, and the black one. Mm. The black one that was kind of orangey. Mango steam. <clears throat> yeah, that one was really good. Really These tasty. are my favorite. These are so good. Yeah, they're real popular the around here, like we said. You see them everywhere. You can definitely see why. I don't think that there's any I didn't like. The one I didn't like was that, um, was the Anona. Anona was kind of so so. Yeah. The sweet salt. I'm not. I wasn't a fan of the texture. It was really mushy. And oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit different. It was. It was kind of like rotten. I don't know if that was right or. Yeah, but ones that I would almost definitely get again just to munch on and snack on: the dragon fruit, the rambutan, and the golden berries or the yuchuva. Yeah. I would definitely eat all of those again. But I think that's pretty much it. I think we learned something today. Yeah, broaden our. Fruit palettes today is what we did. I think that's what we did. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And if you did like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, make sure to smash that like button. <laughs> Click subscribe if you want to follow our journey through Costa Rica and beyond. And ring a ding ding dong that bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. And until next time, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a wrap. That's a wrap.